G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you some great little recipes which I was lucky enough to go on Escape with ET and do some segments with the great Andrew Edinghausen. Some of these recipes that we're doing are so simple, you can easily do them at home. They're all on the barbecue, so you can just get out there in the backyard and give them a crack. So here you go. Good fishing, good food. With the help of your local green grocer, Creo Crush Seasonings, Sandhurst Fine Foods, and the Barbecue and Fireplace Centre Sunshine Coast, Chef Paul Brahini and I are preparing to show you another great seafood dish. Well, Paul, today we've got Red Emperor. They've got to be one of the best eating fish I've ever actually tasted, and I love catching them. We, we chase them up the Queensland coast and out on the reefs in deep water, 60 yeah. metre sort of stuff, you pull up these huge big reds. So what are you going to do? I'm looking at putting it with a mix array of beetroots. And um, we've got some uh, bolotti beans here. We've also got some radishes, uh, some white asparagus. And what the actual dish is really going to all come together with is pink grapefruit. We're going to make like a glaze to go over my beetroots here that I've just par cooked. And the fact that we've got your local green grocer on yeah. board, we've got just such an array. So how do you? cook this beautiful fillet of Red Emperor? Well, this one I'm actually going to do on the hot plate, Andrew. So what I'm going to do is score it. We're going to put a little bit of really nice fish seasoning that we've got from Creo Crush. So what we're going to do is pop some of this on top. You can see there's a bit of parsley in there. They've got lemon, they've got lime. It really gives the fish a really good flavour and it's an instant sort of marinade. So um, a little bit of olive oil over the top. Yep. OK, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the Creo Crush sea salt on there. What that'll do, Andrew, is just stop it from sticking. OK. OK, straight on the barbecue, just gently pushing down. And what happens is this fish fillet will just relax, which it has done now. And we get an even sort of um, crisping of the skin. So what I've got to do, Andrew, is uh, segment the grapefruit. And we've got to take this white pith off. OK, it looks like we're losing a little bit of grapefruit, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be squeezing that into our glaze that we're making for our beetroot. OK, so just with one stroke down and then one stroke, she'll just fall out. Mm. And we do that again. And the reason why I put the bowl there, Andrew, because it catches all the juice as well, you know, so we don't waste any. And I'm going to squeeze this guy out. It's a little bit bitter when you tasted yep. it, but when we actually cook it, it'll caramelise all them sugars. It just gives it, it changes the flavour. And then we're going to add some of our Sandhurst glaze to this as well. And I'm just going to give this a bit of a stir, OK? Now, maybe if you could have a taste of that and see what you think about that. Ooh. Got that real sweetness to it. And a little bit of sourness. A little bit of sour, just a tad. OK, Andrew, our fish is looking pretty good. Wow, that looks yeah, delicious. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Absolutely perfect. That's just going to go on the plate. Red Emperor can't get much better than oh, that. Oh, it's really nice. In this pan here, I'm just going to heat up our beetroot, a little bit of glaze. So you can see what a beautiful glaze it's made. That is beautiful. Yeah. So, real caramelisation. Yeah, there, yeah. So it's time to plate up, mate. So we've got our beetroot. Just here, a few of our beans, bolotti beans, just scattered on the plate. And some of our white asparagus. OK, we've got some micro basil. We'll put it on the plate as well. Some of our beautiful pink grapefruit. We're going to finish off with some more beetroot. And the radish is nice and peppery too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it just goes really well with it. Put a little bit of our dressing just over our fish. And then the last thing is a little bit of frozen feta. Wow. Oh, yeah. Snowflakes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Beautiful red emperor Look with ruby red grapefruit and beetroot salad. That is going to taste delicious. Yeah. And it's so good to be able to prepare and, and cook on, uh, on the barbecue here, the beef eater. Yeah. And the guys from the barbecue and fireplace a centre here in in the beautiful Sunshine Coast where, uh, where you're living. Wow, awesome, look at that. Paradise, mate. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little recipe. Now, don't forget to get over to Escape with ET. He's got his YouTube channel over there, Andrew. And make sure you subscribe. Great channel with some fantastic fishing all the way from Brim right up to Marlin in this great country of ours. See you later, guys. See you next week.